welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 2003 American action film called In Hell. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. As the movie begins, lightning strikes over a prison yard. In the rain, two men are fighting to the death. The victor is restrained by the guards. Later that evening, another man approaches the victor and kills him as he sleeps. The guards bury both bodies. At a steelwork plant, Kyle receives a phone call from his wife, Gray, who is angry because he never spends any time with her. He apologizes and she hangs up the phone. He tries to call her back that evening as he drives home and tells her that he understands that things are hard for her as she is far from home and has no friends. Suddenly, there is a power cut and we can see the reflection of an intruder outside the house. Gray searches around for a flashlight and goes to the fuse box. The power comes back on and they resume their conversation. Kyle promises that he is taking some time off and they will spend it together at the beach. Suddenly, the intruder attacks Gray and Kyle rushes home. He tries to call the police on the way. The intruder tries to do something terrible to Gray, but ultimately kills her. Kyle arrives home shortly after and finds his wife's body lying on the couch. The intruder attacks Kyle before running out of the house. Kyle follows him onto a tram and they fight. They fly through the window and land on the road outside, but Kyle is hit by a passing motorbike. The intruder flees as the police arrive and despite his protest, Kyle is restrained and arrested. The intruder is let off due to lack of evidence and gross negligence by the police, but it was really because his family bribed the judge. Kyle angrily leaves the court, steals a gun, and shoots the man. Kyle is then sentenced to a life in prison with no chance of parole. He arrives on the prison bus with several other new prisoners. General Petrov arrives to inspect the prisoners. He welcomes them all as another prisoner is hauled out in front of them. He had tried to escape, but failed. Petrov speaks with a young man named Billy. As the new arrivals unpack their belongings, the guards speak to Kyle but he doesn't understand them. He thinks they want him to remove his wedding ring and the guard beats him to take it. Kyle crawls to retrieve a picture of Gray that he dropped when he fell. The prisoners are then taken for a haircut and shower before they are taken to a dormitory. Kyle looks at the picture, remembering the time it was taken. His dreams are interrupted by the arrival of the guards who take Billy away. He is put into a cell with the prisoner called Andre who then beats him up. Kyle and the other prisoners can hear Billy's screams. The following day, the prisoners are marched away. Billy leaves Andre's cell in tears. Kyle starts to fight Andre and the guards restrain him. They brand him a troublemaker and lock him in solitary confinement in a cell which opens onto the sewers. Food is given to him, but he refuses to eat. He tries to do something bad, but is unsuccessful. As he lays there dazed on the floor, a moth flutters by and he has a flashback of being with his wife. They discuss being reincarnated into the body of an animal. He is disturbed by noise from a prisoner next door and thumps the wall, shouting at them to shut up. He tries to catch the moth, but it keeps escaping. Finally, as it lands on his food, he sits up and eats it. When Kyle is released, he is taken to a cell. On the way, the guard tells him that he could make his life easier for the right price. Kyle is introduced to his new cellmate, Prisoner 451. The guard tells Kyle that he killed his last three cellmates, but if he wants to change cells, then to let him know. 451 silently gets in the bed and starts to read a book. Over the following days, the prisoners are engaged in hard labor. Kyle receives a visit from his brother-in-law, who tells him that as he is in Russia, he could pay them off. Later in the yard, Andre throws a basketball at Kyle, but misses and hits another prisoner who retaliates. The guards break up the fight, but tell them that if they want to fight, then they must go to Sparka. Kyle goes to speak to Billy, who tells him why he's in prison, even though he's not really sure what happened himself. They are approached by a guy named Malachi, who congratulates Kyle for his crime. Kyle asks about Andre. He is in the Russian mafia, and they have a deal with the guards. His gang runs the place, while the others just try and kill each other. Malachi tells him 
that anything he wants, he can get for him. He does advise Kyle to pay the guards to get himself out of the cell with 451. At night, Kyle has a nightmare about his wife's death. Suddenly, he wakes because 451 has placed his hand over his mouth. Kyle struggles to his feet and 451 shushes him. 451 mutters about earning peace and quiet. At breakfast, Andre spits in Kyle's food and menaces Billy. Afterwards, Kyle goes to the guards to ask to switch cells, but they tell him that they need more money. Sometime later, the inmates are all gathered and Malachi explains that this is Sparka. When the inmates have problems, they are forced to fight for the amusement of the guards. Andre fights with another prisoner. Andre wins, and the brutal fight is eventually halted. Malachi tells Kyle that 451 refuses to fight. The guards make money off him by inmates paying to get another cell. Anyone the guards don't like, they will be left in there for him to kill. Billy goes to the bathroom and tries to make a blade out of a toothbrush. He tries to stab Andre, but fails, so he's sent to the infirmary. At work, some of Andre's gang start to beat up Kyle as the guards watch. Afterwards, the guards say that they hope everything is resolved and send him back to solitary confinement. He can hear the prisoner next door again as soon as he enters and starts to thump the wall again. After some time, he sees the moth again. When he finally leaves the cell, he notices food being delivered to the person in the cell next door who has been making the noise. Outside in the yard, a guard has to keep Andre away from Kyle. A rival gang member kills a member of Andre's gang. Kyle returns to his cell and starts to read 451's diary. 451 walks in and Kyle squeezes out past him. In the dining hall, Kyle is threatened by Andre, but Kyle responds by calmly walking up to him and punching him. Kyle is put back into solitary and angrily hits the walls as the noisy person starts again next door. Whilst out working, an unexploded landline goes off. During the confusion, Billy tries to escape, but is brought back and punished by the guards. Over the following days and months, Kyle trains until the guards decide that he is ready to fight Andre in the Sparka. After a shaky start, Kyle fights back, but when almost defeated, he suddenly attacks Andre and is victorious. Back in his cell, 451 tells him that it feels good. Kyle is now the star fighter and defeats all opponents. Kyle shows some mercy, but the guards order him to finish those he defeats. One night, 451 asks Kyle if he even knows who he is, but Kyle says he doesn't. When Kyle's brother-in-law visits with the plan to get him out, Kyle tells him not to give him false hope. On Russian Independence Day, the inmates are treated to a show. Kyle is introduced to Bolya, who has been transferred from another jail to fight him. During a speech, Billy manages to slip away and is again punished. It appears that Malachi actually set Billy up and this is noticed by 451. Bolya starts to make an impression at the Sparka. Billy is later beaten up by Bolya and as he lays dying, he asks Kyle not to let them turn him into something that he isn't. The day finally arrives when Kyle must fight Bolya, but Kyle just crouches down and will not fight back. Petrov demands to know what is happening, but Kyle says that he won't fight for them anymore. Kyle is tied up and told to let the guards know when he decides he's ready to fight. 451 kills Malachi for what he did to Billy and is put into solitary confinement. In the yard, two rival gangs try to make peace. They refuse to fight in the Sparka and the guards are unable to punish everyone. Kyle is still tied up and the moth flutters around him. He has a vision of Grey who tells him that when he forgot himself, he forgot her and lost everything. The guards suggest shooting Kyle, but Petrov worries that it risks turning him into a martyr. He is taken to the infirmary where Grey tells him that he is back. She says that no one is ever gone as long as there's someone to remember them. Kyle is back in solitary with the noisy neighbor. When he is released, Petrov addresses the inmates and tells them that there will be consequences for everyone's disobedience. Kyle is introduced to Milos, who he is to fight. Milos throws Kyle around, but then realizes that Milos was the prisoner in the cell next to him during solitary. He starts to thump the wall and makes a connection with Milos. 
The guards order them to continue fighting, or they will shoot. Kaio demands that they shoot him as he will no longer fight, but Milas charges at the guards and is gunned down. The other prisoners start to riot and attack Petrov and the guards. Kaio stays with Milas as he dies before he covers the body. He then releases 451 and they find a quiet space as the riot continues. 451 tells Kyle that everyone that he killed talked too much. Kyle tells him that he needs to get out. After his wife was killed, he lost his mind and lost her too. He doesn't want to lose her again. 451 reveals that he can get Kyle out. He presents him with the record of every death and murder inside the prison for the last 20 years and tells him that he needs to participate in one more fight. After that, the guards plan to take him to a field and shoot him. Seven inmates and one guard died that night and the prison was put into total lockdown for two weeks. Afterwards, Kyle reluctantly agrees to fight again. Petrov is delighted as that means he won't become a martyr. Kyle puts up a good fight against Bolya, but suddenly Bolya produces a blade. The guards try to intervene, but Kyle manages to defeat him, striking the final blow and saying that it's for Billy. Afterwards, the guards capture Kyle and lead him away. Suddenly, 451 appears and helps to set Kyle free. Kyle retrieves his wedding ring from the guards before exacting his revenge for the guards' cruelty. 451 refuses to leave with Kyle as he puts him into the guard's car. The car will not be stopped by security. 451 tells Kyle to make sure that he lets people know the truth. As Kyle leaves, 451 walks into Petrov's office and tells him that he talks too much. He then kills him. Kyle holds his photograph and tells Gray that they did it. 451 is led away. Three months later, the prison is shut down. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.